Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine and Performance. Today we're going to go through some torque wrenches, show you some of the different options out there, um, basically on high-end torque wrenches, um, and my impressions on them, stuff like that. So let's get started. All right, guys. So for starters, we made it a year. My goal for the year was to end up getting a thousand subscribers, and we killed it. I think on the year date we did like 1750, which is awesome. So I got to thank you guys a lot. I'm trying to figure out some type of giveaway. Um, I'm working with some of the guys that have helped me out um, since the start of this, so. You know, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, um, and here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing some type of giveaway. It's going to be swag, stuff like that. Um, might do uh, like a top end giveaway. I'm trying to figure out how to do something like that. So if you guys have any ideas, um, put it in the comments below. Email me, uh, Erickson Machine and Performance, um, because I want to thank you guys for everything you've done if you guys also want to help out the channel we have sticker packs um, we have t-shirts stuff like that it's greatly appreciated so let's show you some of this stuff um, now personally you know for the past uh, 20 years I've basically used snap-on torque wrenches I, I've tested a few other ones over the years um, I've just loved the snap-on torque wrench um, they just work they're expensive but you know i build you know hundreds of motors every year um so it's worth it to me this torque wrench here i've had for 17 years uh, on the 550 video um a couple weeks ago this torque wrench died on me i'm happy to say i sent this back to snap on um for 105 bucks they recalibrated the torque wrench. Uh, they replaced the housing. They replaced the LCD. They replaced the rear cap, which on these original ones, this was like the first digital torque wrench that Snap-on came out with. Um, if you were holding it near the back, um, you could actually shut it off and then you have to reset everything. Um, this torque wrench has worked flawlessly. When I bought it, nobody knew if digital torque wrenches were gonna like work. Or anything like that and man it worked flawlessly so I'm going to start off with this one this is the tech um, torque wrench they still sell it the reason I love these um, it does um, what is it I think yeah five to a hundred foot-pounds um, it does inch pounds nanometers um, so, which is nice because it's really three torque wrenches in one. Um, so it, it's a great option. The nice thing with this is when you get up to torque, um, it buzzes in your hand. It tells you what the torque you left at, um, which is a great feature. When this died, um, I picked up this, which this is the ATEC 125. So. This is kind of Snap-on's new latest and greatest. Let me let the angle zero. So this, um, I love this thing. I've built close to 100 motors with it. So I wanted to do a review after I used it a little bit. Man, what a difference, you know, 17 years has made. Um, this thing's phenomenal. The one really, really nice thing with this torque wrench let me show you let me grab a socket real quick so when you're torquing it there's lights on the side so can I hold on let me grab a set of pliers to hold the socket while I do it so I can show you what it does but the nice thing with it is there's a light bar on the side which uh, lets you creep up um, which is a feature I, I never knew I wanted until I had it. So if you notice, as you're creeping up, the lights light up until you get there, and then it tells you the final torque. 
Um, obviously I'm doing like this, it's not easy, but you can do it really, really gradually until you hit the number. The other really nice thing with this torque wrench is it will tell you the number of fasteners you've done. I just changed it, but there's a little number counter here. Uh, let's see if we can see it. There's a little number counter here. So it tells you the fasteners you've done. So, you know, if you know there's 12 fasteners on a head, 10 fasteners on a head, you can look how many you torqued at that. You know you torque them all. Um, me personally, I torque everything and then I go over it and check everything. Uh, it's just a habit, but it's nice to have that feature. The other nice thing, really nice thing with this torque wrench is it does angle as well. So you can flip between torque and then angle. So, you know, a lot of hardware will be, you know, uh, 30 pounds and then 90 degree and then 90 degree, something like that. Um, so you, you do the first under the foot pounds, then you move it over to angle and this will do the angle for you, which is a awesome feature in a torque wrench because the way I used to have to do it would be use the angle gauge, which also works, but it's a nice feature to have it all in one torque wrench. So, these are phenomenal. The downside to them is they're expensive. Um, you know, this one, when I bought it, I, it was close to a thousand bucks way back when. You figure, I've, I've built over 10,000 engines with a thing. Um, it, it's worth its weight in gold to me. It, it's more than paid for itself and for 105 bucks, I got completely rebuilt. It looks brand new um, and it's calibrated again. So um, I've kept my old click style torque wrench um, as my backup, when this broke on the video, I used this torque wrench as my backup. Um, so now this will still end up going in the toolbox, but this will most likely end up being my backup torque wrench. Um, these are great. The one downside to them, you know, a lot of the hardware I do is step, so I'll do you know, 11 pounds and then 19 pounds, 13 pounds and then 22 pounds, 22 pounds and then 31, whatever. So it's real quick and easy to just go like that. You know what number you're at, you go, you know, this, when you're in a rush, you're tired, you know, it's one o'clock in the morning, you're still building engines. Um, it's easy to end up being, you know, five off by not paying attention. Um, you know, obviously you never ha shoot for that happening, but it's more common to make an error with this. There are benefits to these though. So the main reason I keep, you know, this and I keep the larger, this is a gear wrench that I have. I have this cheaper gear wrench for, um, like the V8 work I do, um, that there's torque plates. So it's around honing oil and stuff like that because I'm doing it in the honing machine where I pull it out of the boring bar and then, you know, I have to put the torque plate down, torque it down and hone everything, um, you know, and then take the torque plate off and flip it on the other side. Everything's covered in oil. So I'd rather use something that doesn't have electronics in it to get it wet. Um, and, you know, if it's for that particular job, if you're 2% off or something like that, it's really not going to kill it. You know, the one thing with torque wrenches, you know, it's not necessarily the pound that's the most important. So, and that's going to throw some people off. You know, if you're set at 20 pounds and you do 22 or you do 18, odds are most applications, you're going to be fine with that two pound swing. What you don't want though, is you don't want one head bolt to be 22 and the other to be 18 and have an uneven load on the cylinder head because that's what's going to make it more likely to warp um, and have a sealing issue. So in that aspect, you know, gear wrench makes a really nice torque wrench. I've been very, very happy with this. It's a uh, quick action. So all you have to do is you just drop that down, rotate it over, big, easy numbers to read. Um, I've been super, super satisfied with this wrench. Um, it, I think it's a 120 tooth um, head. So it's really, really fine 
Um, and, you know, I've torqued things to well, 230 foot pounds, I think, is the most I've gone on this. Uh, and it's worked flawlessly. So, you know, that gives you a good idea on, you know, what you're looking at with these. You know, this is the one of the newer ones that Snap-on has. Um, I, I love it. Even this original one, you know, I see these for sale all the time. You know, no, if you're picking one up, you can always send it back to Snap-on for 105 bucks, and they're going to rebuild the damn thing for you. That's the one cool thing with, there's certain tools in my toolbox um, that I only buy high-end stuff. So my compression gauge, I have two. I have a Mako and I have a Snap-on. You know, most of my high-end measuring tools that I use for building engines, I have two of them. So that way, if I'm doing a job and I get some weird number, before I start taking something apart, the first thing I'll do is go grab the other tool to check, hey, did my tool just start acting up out of the blue? Um, normally, it's something weird, not the tool, but every once in a while, it is the tool. Same thing on the one video. You know, if I only had this torque wrench laying around when it stopped working on me, I would have been screwed. Um, you know, and I've always kept an extra torque wrench because when I got into digital torque wrenches, I didn't know how they, long they were going to last. The Snap-on guy I was talking to said, you know, they had torture tested these things and they, they really, really lasted well. And I got to be honest, he was right. Um, you know, I got 17 years out of the thing. Um, and hopefully I'll get another 17 years. The one thing I've been very lucky with, I use the torque wrench, you know, Right now I'm averaging, you know, 30 to 50 engines a week. So I'm always changing batteries in the things. It's the one thing with digital torque wrenches that you have to be careful of. Um, if you're not gonna use it all the time, take the batteries out of the thing. Because if you have a battery explode and the acid gets inside of it and destroys it, you know, you're SOL. Luckily for me, I use them so much that the batteries wear out before they go bad. I don't have that problem. So. I hope you guys liked the video. I'm thrilled with this new torque wrench. I'm also thrilled to have my baby back because honestly, this torque wrench right here, I, you know, I've got a whole bunch of memories with this thing. It's built a ton of engines for me and I love it. So, and honestly, probably my son will end up getting this one. So thanks again for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, share the videos. You know, my goal for this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers. It's a huge goal to make. You know, same thing when I started this thing. I didn't know anything about YouTube. I still really don't. And, you know, I had zero subscribers. And then, you know, I had 10 and 50 and 100 and 200, you know, so on and so forth. It's been an awesome ride. I super appreciate it. And it's all because you guys, you guys help and share this is what's going to, you know, make us bigger. I enjoy helping you guys. So you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching.